right, so this is my aquaponics setup. So basically this took me about two weeks to build, and it's dusty down there, um, and it basically works, it starts down here where we have the aquarium, in the aquarium we have a pump, and this pumps water on a timer which is currently broken but I'm going to replace it shortly. Um, it's going to pump every four, no, every six hours. Um, so midnight, six o'clock, or both sixes and both twelve o'clocks. Um, it's going to pump water up through the hose, which comes up here, splits. One goes into the grow box that has gravel, and one goes into the grow box that has soil. Um, then, over here, as you can see I have four drains, two for each grow box. One is so that it can drain completely, and one is for the overflow so that it can actually ebb and flow. This is an ebb and flow system, so it'll flood up to this level, but it won't get any higher. Then, all the water drains back down into this, which is my buffer tank. And the buffer tank has two purposes. The buffer tank will both um, filter out some of the media by using gravity because of where it's connected all the sediment is going to drop to the bottom and the spigot is higher than the bottom it's kind of a little difficult to see there I hope you can all see it um, and so it drops all the sediment to the bottom but it also means that as this water level decreases in the aquarium when the pump is pumping water up the water from here drains over into here meaning that the fish that are fishing here although you can't see them um, means that the fish can always have water and of course the point of an aquaponic system is so that the water gets enriched with the fish poop and the fish poop is good for the plants and they also filter out the water of the fish poop, which goes back into the aquarium for the fish. Um, currently, I've got my tomato plant back here. I've got some lettuce. I've got two types of lettuce. Um, each one is growing in both the hydroponic and the uh, soil-based grow boxes. I've got broccoli. I've got oregano, got basil, parsley, and got a grapevine back here. Um, the soil is pretty unorthodox when it comes to growing like this. Um, it's more or less an experiment at this point. Um, as you can see, it's kind of turned the water extremely dark. Um, but it's basically making compost tea, which I think is, which I understand is very good for plants. So. We're going to see how well this works out. It may be really good in that all the plants are getting compost tea as a drink, or it may be really bad in that this, these plants in the soil might get root rot and because of poor drainage of the soil. It is pretty, pretty soggy if you feel it. So um, this is an experiment at this point, but we'll see how it happens. Um, right down here, we've got the banyan tree. It's going to be a bonsai. Then we got a little seed starter. I've got um, some seeding or some rooting compound brewing right here. It's a crushed up willow tree ends or willow branch ends. Um, and then a little peat, peat starter pot right there. Um, and I'm gonna try and uh, clone uh, my grapevine so I can grow it outside. 
course, I've erected a superstructure to hold the lamp out of PVC pipe. Took the better part of about 10 minutes to build. And um, there you have it. Hope you like it.